right guys, and today we're joining in a tier 10 battle, but well, I'm in the tier 9 uh, Soviet medium tank, the T-54, which uh, is a massive improvement on the previous vehicle, the T-44, which I found exceptionally painful. Um, but here I'm in a platoon with my fr friend and clanmate, Stingray Wilson, uh, which I think is a great name, he's in the WZ-120. And also my other clanmate, Great Ed, who's also in the two T-54 there. Um, now, I decide that, bear in mind they've got an IS-7 and a T-110 uh, E-5. I don't want to go brawling in the town, uh, which quite often I, I'm, I'm not not too fussed about going brawling in this tank. I, I'll, I'll, I will do it. It's got a good gun, um, which with the standard ammunition has got... Uh, 200 penetration, 320 damage, or with heat, I can increase that penetration quite significantly to 330. Actually, uh, a big jump up from the 210. Uh, so anyway, I come to this place. Uh, issue with this tank, pretty much no gun depression, so you can forget that, but it is low, and the armour is quite sloped, and it's fairly good, so as you can see, I just bounced the shell from that TVP, uh, which is a tier 10 medium tank. <coughs> and then start trying to work this ridge line. Uh, hitting the tanks that are up here. Uh, you can see Great Ed has gone up there as well. He's pushed on. Uh, it's bold play. It's good play. He's getting spotting. But I think, bearing in mind, there's only me and uh, this standard B here. Uh, it's possibly a bad place for uh, for Great Ed. And I think we're going to see that. There we go. Unfortunately, he, he can't he can't survive in that position. There's just too many enemies further ahead. We don't have enough support, so we need to make sure we can draw them back into fire. Take a fire at this T-54. Uh, I'm not going to push, although this is a really manoeuvrable tank. It's got good agility. I can move around in it pretty well. Uh, I relocate, and as I said, the frontal armour is quite good. The hull armour is quite good, and the gun is reliable enough. Uh, but I'm not going to push up by myself because with only this amount of support behind uh, I will, I'll just die very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and sit here and spot those three or four tanks that are, that are up there including that piece of shit EBR. Spot that object 430, pull back because I know there's RT uh, in this area as well and I don't want to take fire from anything if I can. And there you go, see a nice big RT shell landing. TVP starts pushing up. Can I hit him? Nope. Shell flies over the top. Uh, and so this is going to be my objective right now. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to try and spot these. Work well, seems to be working. Uh, as we can see now in the bottom left-hand corner, I've just passed 3,000 spotting damage. Starting to think now about pushing up a little bit. Score's still 1-1. One, one. It's looking okay. Uh, in the middle, this flank is looking a bit weak for us. So that's a uh, slight concern um, but at the moment I need to keep spotting these guys I hope to get them finished but not a lot seems to be happening so I'm wondering have these guys drop back down and around or are they pulling around here so my plan is to move up onto this top bit and see what I can spot can I spot anything moving along dangerous I know because it's oh, spot the TVP fire Accuracy lets me down. Could have finished him off. That would have been a great shot. But I know RT has been looking in this direction, so I want to get off that flat bit of the hill onto this kind of covered bit down here, because the RT will have a great deal of difficulty in lobbing a shell and hitting me on this on this slope. So now I've been spotted, going that way. So they might be looking for me that way. I think. So I pull up here. You can see the object 430 is down in town. So I now decide I'm going to do the same thing. Can I spot anything again? Spot the T110 E5. Can I get a shot off on him? I've got the slightest bit. My shot smashes into the, <coughs> the little uh, hut and not into the uh, tank. So my friend Stingray Wilson is pushed up now as well, uh, along with the standard B and the GW Tiger. Pretty, lands, pretty much lands a shell flat on the object 432. He's still sitting up on that part, which is where he has been for a little while. So, aim my shot. I don't get the hit on him, but the uh, the T110E4 does finish him off. The T110E4 is sitting down here. 
EBR pops up again, he's a one shot kill. But he's going to pull behind that rock before I spot him. I can shoot him, take a bit of care. Can I finish off this T110 E5? Or, oh, indeed, that TVP. Or that T54. Shoot on the move. Just started moving. Managed to kill that T54. So that's one enemy gun dead. We're losing 4 6. I've got one kill, done 351 damage, blocked 320, and spotted 3,237. So again, I'm pushing up. Now I keep looking between the hill in front of me, the direction I'm travelling, and into town, seeing if I can hit anything. I can't seem to hit anything at the moment. I might be able to get that object 430 in a second. There he goes. I can spot him. Get spotted myself. I'm worried about the arty, so I'm pulling back. He doesn't seem to be noticed. Notice me though, so fire shot into him. Try and track him as well as uh, damaging him. Someone else hits him, I managed to fire, put in their finishing kill. Some blind shot there, probably from the motion. Who's pushing on that T30? So I get some more spotting damage on the motion. I'm now looking for that EBR, I'm also looking for the RT. Because the RT have been peeing me off and pinging me. EBR gets spotted. I know I've got to keep moving. I've got to keep changing direction because that RT is going to start zeroing in on me. 277 takes out the EBR. Brilliant. Good. Want to get rid of that. Now 89. Leveling the scores up. 3,752 spotting damage, but only 892 of my own damage. Two kills, though. So, as I'm driving along looking for the RT, I keep looking into town as well, looking at that E75 and that motion. There's a GW Tiger. Snap on the auto lock uh, because I want to drive around him whilst firing. I don't want to be aiming too much because I don't want to get in the way of his gun. And then I notice that that E75 isn't looking at me. So I take a risk here because I know there's another RT out there somewhere. Finish off the E75. We are now 11 10 up. Four kills now. I've now done 15,000, uh, 1,500, sorry, and 36 damage. I mean, I could go and help those guys there, but I I want to finish off this uh, uh, this RT and also finish off the, uh, if possible, the Waffentrauger. And so I spot the RT, aim in, I get spotted as well. Fire a shot, he fires a shot, stuns me, damages, ammo racks me, so repair all of that stuff two minutes left. We win if we survive for two minutes. Now down to two shots. My friend Stingray Wilson is now pushing up as well. He's on uh, slightly fewer hit points than me. Um, so he's going to go up that side. I decide I'm going to go up this side. But as I start pushing up, notice behind me the Waffentrager. And I turn around and decide I'm going to deal with him. I think what I really should have done is pushed up regardless and killed this batch of arty. Um, because we'll see in a second. Batcher Artie rams into and kills my teammate, platoon mate. So I'm now. Don't know why he's pulling out like that. He's not even aiming at me. Maybe I've not been spotted, so I'll finish off the Artie. Five kills, 12 apiece. Tier 10 battle, remember? Waffentrake pops out, puts one into me. I fire, miss. Teammate hits him. I'm trying to get round him, trying to keep away from that gun. Put one switch to HE because I know he's got weak uh, armor, but don't need to. 13 12 now. We're now winning again. They've got a Badger, who's a good player. He's on six kills, and they've got a Maushin. Now we've got a Progetto, Artie, and me. I'm down to 491 hit points, but I've done 200, 2227. Still only block 320, which is not too bad considering I'm a tier 9 medium. And I've spotted 5022, which is pretty good. So the last known position of the Mousham and Badger are around here. Uh, I suspect they're going to try and push on to either get the arty or to cap because they've only got 20 seconds left. So get the message that the Mousham's on the side, spot the Badger, loaded up uh, heat and fire the heat through the side of the Badger, loaded up the heat to make sure I could do the job. Then push on trying to find the Mousham on six kills. 2,000 damage. Kind of hair it round in time. No, I can't. But game's over. 
2,539 damage, 5,022 spotting damage. I uh, snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. So, not just me, obviously, the rest of the team helped, but it's a, it's a lesson there to not just give up when it looks like your team is failing, when it looks like your team's fucked up. Keep playing, you may never know, you might win. Right, we'll have a look at the battle results in a second. So there we go, at the end of the game, top of the team, obviously with that amount of damage and that amount of spotting damage, I uh, got Pescucci's medal for the killing the two uh, RTs, top gun for the six kills, didn't do the most damage, you can see the object 277 had a great game, so did the Progetto with 65, loads and loads of damage there. Uh, <coughs> and I'm pretty proud of that, that's a pretty good game. Also got uh, Ace Tanker, uh, which you can't see here for the first time, but so uh, pleased with that. Um, been quite enjoying this, it's definitely a big step up from the previous one. Anyway, please remember to like and subscribe and leave any comments about the game. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more about the changes that are upcoming uh, and what I think of those. Uh, I'm sure I think a lot of people agree with them as well. Uh, my views, not the changes necessarily, uh, but we'll see. All right, take care. Bye-bye.